Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Believe me, I'm not that old, but it's probably just the age gap between my speaker and me that makes me look old. When I think, at, think back and, you know, what I was doing when I was 10 years old, there was no TV, never had seen a computer. There was, I think, one or two channels on the radio. We dreaded if some, um, you know, national, nationally important person died because you would hear a very monotonous music for the next seven days. Today, we have with us Sarah Elizabeth Paul. She's just 10 years old. What, are, what were most of you doing when you were 10 years old? And maybe today's many kids are preoccupied with on the um, laptops or on you know, whatever handheld devices they're playing with. But this girl, she's a student of the Green Hills Public School in Sultan Bateri, Vayanad. She developed an interest in programming and basic electronics and started experimenting with basic programmable electronic circuits such as LEDs, light sensors, and uh, stepper motors. She developed a burglar alarm using Arduino open source hardware. I'm, I'm not a techie, so I hope that's right. And that was selected to be part of the first mini maker fair in Bangalore, held along with the NASCOM product conclave. I'm told that she's also a karate brown belt, aspiring to be a black belt, and an avid reader. So let's listen to Sarah Elizabeth Paul. Good afternoon to all of you present here. I'm Sarah Elizabeth Paul, and I'm here to talk about the burglar alarm I developed. The burglar attacks are quite frequent these days. And even though my family likes to travel a lot, it's quite risky to leave the house alone, as it gets more easy for the robbers. And when me and my mom are in, uh, alone in the house, we have to lock the doors on all sides, even inside the house. And occasionally, we hear about bank robberies almost every month. When robbers, when robbers pop out of the floors and jump out of the windows. So I came up with the idea of an alarm. What it does is it senses, it senses in a, a person, makes it sound to scare the person away, and also takes its photo. I'll just show you how. The video was about my brother. He always likes to eat cookies. And I wanted, I, I wanted proof to show my mother that he steals the cookies. So that's how I, I, proved, uh, I proved it. Many people asked me how I got the idea. I got the idea when I was in fourth grade. My school conducted many exhibitions. I didn't prepare anything for the exhibition. But when I saw all the other exhibitions, I got inspired. They were all so awesome. I wanted to make something really incredible, something that stands out. And I came up with the idea of a robot. So then my dad said, OK, you can definitely do it. And then he introduced me to Khan Academy. 
Khan Academy is a website from where we can learn things like math, economics, computing, programming, and many else. We can also know how much we've learned through the frequent tests. And in programming, we can see the results immediately if we put type, on, type the programming. As you see, the bunny is the result of the programming I typed here. So then my dad bought me an Arduino set. The Arduino is a microprocessor from where you can program easily. And the results of the programming are seen in the UNO board. We connect all the external devices into the UNO board, and then, and then we connect the UNO board to the computer. So once we type in the programming, we can see, we can see the results immediately. So I think I almost got all the components. I understood that we didn't get the outer covings of the robot. So then I came up with the idea of a remote-controlled boat, but unfortunately it sank. However, I kept on learning about, uh, about uh, programming and the basics in the Arduino set. So when I came across the buzzer, I understood that it can alert someone, it can make a sound to scare a person away. And as I told you, I'm really scared of thieves. So I got the idea of an alarm. The alarm has a proximity sensor. So once the sensor senses someone, the buzzer gets active and starts making a sound. Once the buzzer gets active, the seven segment LED shows the number of times person went in front of it. Then the ESP8266 sends a message to the phone telling it to take a photo. We put our uh, Gmail account in an app called Serve App, so then, the, uh, so then the photo would be sent directly into our email account. And we put something in front of the server motor so it knocks down and, start, and, and scares the person away. Eventually, it got selected to the Mini Maker Fair, and the first of its kind in Bangalore. The Mini Maker Fair is a fair from all the people around the company, uh, around the country, come and show their projects. I was the youngest in the group, and I could interact with many other people. It also brought me self-confidence. So, as you see, I started up with a, a robot. I ended up with sunken boat. And then I got to up to a totally successful burglar alarm. So what I have to tell is, if you have an idea, start working on it. You might experience failures, but it's just part of learning. And finally, you get up to something so totally successful. And that's how I got one. I'm not that much of a genius or anything. I can't even concentrate in my text for more than 15 minutes. But I just had an idea. And I needed a coach and confidence. My dad was always there to coach me. And then the confidence were, were not that much expensive. I know many children's parents might not know that much of programming, but there's still these websites and magazines like Khan Academy, Coursera, and Electronics for You. So basically, what I want to tell is, if you have an idea, all you need is determination to make the idea a success. Thank you. I'm sure not many of you could have, or even today, have the confidence to stand up there and speak the way she did. I think you're free to ask her some questions. What plans next to do with that, whatever you built? I'm thinking of, I'm thinking of selling it in the market but I haven't really made other, other things of it now. Other, other uh, alarms right now.
what's the kind of uh, studies you're going to take up after class 10 and after class 12? And uh, what do you really want to be doing in life? Actually, I like writing. I'm, a, I'm interested in science. And I'm also, I also like acting. So I don't really know what I want to do now. So once I get a, I get a proper ambition, I'm going to think about what, I, what I'm going to study about. Quest to her father, Paul Matthews. How do you bring up a child like her who has got, you know, bringing in so much confidence and so much of life? I think it would be a different experience from what me or many of us have uh, faced here. So, so I guess uh, the, the way I think of growing up, I mean, how to coach kids is like you're given a, an, an unknown seed uh, that you just need to nurture, right? You, you, you have the seed and you don't know what plant is going to come out of it. Uh, but as parents, it's our job to nurture it. Uh, so sometimes the seed might need a lot of water. Sometimes more water might be harmful for it. Sometimes it needs sunlight. Sometimes it needs sunshade. You, you never know. You never really know what, what the plant needs. So as parents, I'd say our responsibility is to nurture this unknown seed and, and kind of adjust yourself uh, as the plant grow. I mean, I'm sure you learn, we just have to nurture. Uh, so I think that's the role of, uh, of, of a parent. Uh, and that being said, uh, I mean, I, I would not call Sarah exceptional, right? I mean, she, she, she had an idea, she, she, she had a determination, she did it, that was successful, that led it to the next step, that led it to the next step, etc. So I think that's, the, that's true, probably true for all of our kids, uh, at least kids of Sarah's age. And older kids may be a different story. Uh, so it's just that you, you, you have to see a spark, and then you have to guide that spark, uh, and, then, and then just let that go. Uh, all along, you're just nurturing it. You're nurturing this unknown plant. So I think that's, that's, my, that's my message. I think, I, mean, there, I think there's probably like a thousand Sarah's in this room. Thank you. Any more questions? Sir, I have a simple question for you. Now you've become a big star and everybody recognizes you and knows you. When you go to school, are you under pressure to perform academically also? Sorry? Do I need to perform academically also because you become such a celebrity? Studies also? You have to study harder because you become a star now? Yeah, well, I, I already study well, so. <laughs> I give up. Thank you. She so already does her best. Thank you Ma very much. Oh, there's a, another one more question. Hi, Sarah. Myself is Akhil. I have a question for you. How much time do you take to learn this much Arduino programming? Well, I started, I started uh, pr learning about programming for my summer vacation, and I finished it in August. Any more questions? Okay, Sarah, we are really proud of you, and now I would request Mr. John Chaco to present a memento to our brilliant young girl, Sarah. And her father, I think, deserves a special moment. I would request Mr. Paul to please come to the days and receive the moment from Mr. John Chaku. Thank you, Mr. John Chaku Nirud, Mr. Paul, and thank you, Sarah.